what is going on my YouTube compadres thanks for joining me for another episode as you already know in this episode we're gonna be discussing the six-month review of my Ducati Penigali 959 Corsa yes that was a mouthful so in this review you guys are gonna join me in uh, two different locations I decided to go to up to uh, Mount Soledad getting sunny so it's gonna look really nice up there get a 360 panoramic view of uh, all of San Diego and then once I tease you on how beautiful San Diego beaches look from all the way up on top we're gonna go visit one of the beaches so join me for the ride which should be pretty fun and you'll get to learn about how I like my Ducati after six months second good news I wanted to tell you guys is that I'm gonna be doing my first ever Q&A coming up this Saturday so hopefully you can join me mark your calendars it's gonna be sometime in the morning I think I'm gonna be doing it at, uh, at like uh, 9 a.m. PST time which is California time so mark your calendars join me this Saturday first Q&A session I really hope that you guys join me and we fill this room up and have some great conversations so I'm moving on to the 959 it's been six months I've had this baby in my possession a little over six months I gotta be honest I bought the bike with a thousand miles and right now well I should say smiles haha <laughs> is a difference my boys miles versus smiles we're gonna talk smiles not miles okay because the bike currently has 3986 smiles and boy those smiles have been very fun to put on this bike I bought the bike initially with a thousand and one hundred or or something like that I have to go back and look at the receipts but bought the bike with that many miles and uh, I've had quite a lot of fun with it I took it on a few rallies went to a track day session with this bike unfortunately because of, because of the sickness um, I didn't get a chance to take it back on the track yet but hopefully this fall around September time is whenever it gets a little bit cooler and then I can take it to the track otherwise if I go now it's really really hot yeah so around September it's gonna get a little bit cooler because most of the tracks in SoCal are in the desert Chuck Walla happens to be my favorite at the moment it's very technical and I can't wait for that track to open back up or rather wait until it gets cold or a little bit cooler uh, but I've done some track days with this bike and a whole lot of riding man uh, I've gotten pretty used to the bike and at the moment I'm so comfortable with the bike that I pin the throttle first gear is still very very snappy and very exciting and uh, I just haven't built up the cojones to go full throttle on first gear but uh, every other gear I do like full throttle wide open throttle and it's a whole lot of fun so I can't wait to go back to the track and open it back up but as far as the bike is concerned no hiccups at all starts right up no crazy uh, behaviors um, I've changed the tires on the bike since I bought it obviously I put a considerable, a considerable amount of miles on it uh, the manual states that you should be doing the oil change at the uh, 7200 uh, marker but I've done it sooner than that I usually like to do my oil changes every 3,000 miles because of the riding style I have and also because I track it it's probably better to do it more often so I've been doing that and uh, she's been holding up pretty well uh, so far so good so here's the thing right like at this point you're probably wondering like yo man you've you've been riding like the Ducati V4S the V4R the V2 all these crazy bikes I've reviewed on my channel how come I haven't bought all these other cool bikes and traded this bike in and you know after riding all those bikes the V4S the V4R the V2 and all these other bikes which I've reviewed on my channel and if you're if it's your first time visiting this channel please make sure to like this video and subscribe and once you subscribe you can always come back and watch all these crazy videos that I have that you might find entertaining and very informative so if you're ever interested in buying one of these bikes check out those reviews but uh, that being said um, I, I don't feel it's a necessity for me at the moment because I've ridden all these bikes it's actually made me appreciate this bike so much more because there's so much value I get out of this bike versus buying something brand new and two times the cost but I find I find that the value of this bike at the price that I paid for it is really really great 
I paid somewhere around 13.9 or 13.5 for this bike. And uh, with tax and everything, I think I came up to a little over 15 grand. So if I sell it at this, at this current moment, I'll probably get back the current money I paid for it. But I don't feel like it's necessary at this point. It's got plenty of power for exactly what I need. And I don't think I need any more at this time. So I love the way the bike looks. The uh, delivery of this bike separates itself from the red and the white one. Because everywhere you go and you look, you always see a, a red or a white 959, mostly red. But I, I love the livery of this bike. Initially, I didn't like the livery. But the more I ride it, the longer I own it. I love it more and more. It's very unique and I think it holds its value in the marketplace. So the selling points for me are those things. It just holds its value and it's just a beautiful looking bike. It gets compliments all the time and people just love the bike. Um, aside from that, it's got plenty of power. Like I rode a, a V4. The V4 is obviously a lot more powerful than this bike, but from like zero to 60 or to zero to 100, like unless you're pinning the throttle wide open, I don't think you really feel it that much more than you would on a V4. The V4 has got way more top power than this does, but as far as the overall excitability for a motorcycle, this has it all and I'm not missing out on anything like that. Wow, so check out this view. This, this is the place I wanted to bring you guys. Alright, so moving along, the big question is, after six months of use and riding all these expensive bikes that are way more powerful than this, do I still enjoy riding the Ducati 959? Absolutely, or else I wouldn't be owning it, right? Like, I, I have a choice of buying anything I want right now. But I still love this bike and I'm keeping it for a long time. No sense in training it in because it, excite, it excites me still. The thing is that uh, I recently bought an F900 and I think after buying the F900 and riding that bike, it made me enjoy this a little bit more. If this is like your only bike and you're riding this one constantly, then you might get bored of it. But because I got another bike, which happens to be slower than this one, I ride that one maybe two times and then I come back to this one. And I like this one a whole lot more than I did originally. It's giving me like a brand new perspective on riding the Panigale because it's such an exciting bike. It's loud, it's vicious, it handles phenomenal, it's fast as heck. And uh, it's not like I get on this bike and I feel, oh man, I'm missing out, I should be buying something bigger. I think that if I ever do do that, that's just my ego talking because on the street, how fast can you really go? Considering that, I pro that, that 3,989 miles are primarily on the street, I really don't feel like I need anything else. Now, that being said, in the future, I will upgrade to something better. But at the current moment, I just honestly, I don't feel like anything is lacking in owning this bike. So at the six month mark, I'm happy to say that this bike is just as pleasurable to ride as it was in the beginning. And I'm not missing out on anything and I love it just as much, if not maybe more. As far as modifications are concerned, I haven't done anything else to it besides what I did in the beginning. You can check out some of my earlier videos but if you want to know what I've done to the bike, you can also comment down in the description below. And if you have any questions on uh, what the parts are or whatever, just let me know in the comment section and I'll let you know where I got them. But aside from that, one of my subscribers was uh, mentioning to me, uh, his name is uh, Bikes and Beats. He actually has a YouTube channel as well, so uh, make sure to give him some love. Go visit his channel, subscribe to him. He's a really cool guy, but uh, on Instagram, he was recommending that I get rid of these mirrors and put the uh, the Rizoma mirror deletes and uh, put the, uh, the bar end mirrors. And uh, initially I wasn't attracted to the idea because I don't know, it, it makes me feel insecure that the mirrors are at the bar ends here. And considering that these clip-ons are so low, it might, uh, it might prevent me from, from riding safely. But he says I'll get used to it. So maybe in the future, 
I can get rid of these these lever guards on the left hand and right side in case you're wondering why I have two initially I got them for aesthetic reasons I just like the way they look so that's in case you're wondering as far as reliability is concerned it's been pretty reliable I haven't had any issues I changed the oil I treat it well by treating it well I run it hard I mean <laughs> as it should be ran hard I took it to the track once but I'm really really looking forward to going back to the track as I mentioned once it starts getting a little bit colder cooler I should say it'll never get cold but it will get cooler eventually and aside from that it's just been a it's just it's just been an awesome bike there's really no other plans I have for it just enjoying it in general it's, just, it's, a, it's a great bike and now that I have two bikes the F900R and this one I think I like it just a little bit more because it gives me some time off from it and you know how it is whenever you take some time off from something you like it a little bit more right so that's exactly what's been happening with me uh, I've been taking some time off from it and when I ride it again I just like it more and more and uh, it stays it stays uh, fresh on my mind Downshifting on this bike is amazing man I love rev matching Oh yeah Oh yeah Let's see if we can hook a left over here and park over there And check out this beach area It's pretty We've Got some amazing surfers over here Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Beautiful day at the beach, and I hope you can join me for the next episode, and I hope I could see you uh, this Saturday, I would say around 9, 10 uh, Pacific Standard Time, California time, so if I got it wrong, just make sure it's California time, and I'll see you guys this Saturday. Write down in the comment section if you have any questions, and don't forget, if you're new per if you're new to my channel, like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.